What up players, Wolbot's tail up in this mud. Got another little Astro Claws project update video because my tactical marine shoulder pads came in. I've also been reading the fluff of Imperial Armor Book 9, The Bad App War Part 1, and um, I really love getting into the fluff of Huron, um, Luft, Luft Huron before he was Huron Blackheart, and just the, the tactics and the play style of the fighting style of the Astro Claws before they went, um, before they were officially um, gone, before they officially went traitor. So a lot of their um, tactics is based around good orbital bombardment, uh, use of long range weaponry, firing um, accurately and taking out the enemy from far rather than running in like a, you know, the flesh terrors and just like getting mixed in in close hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's really, really tactical, these guys, with their um, with their outflanking and, and uh, just the way that they would use tactics to to surprise and control the battlefield, surprise the enemy and control the battlefield. So seeing this or, or reading this, it made me think that if I continue with this Astro Claws project, that a good unit to have would be Stern Guard because their uh, strength is in the, the, the shooting phase, I believe. So. How would you decorate Stern Guard if you don't want to order or use the ones from GW? You want to make yours out of plastic? I highly suggest getting some of these Forge World sculpted shoulder pads and um, using them with your regular, mixing them up in your regular pla uh, plastics tactical marine box because these are very ornate, very beautiful, and let's take a look at what they, well, what you get. You get 10 of these, so I would suggest instead of building up 5 with 2 individual shoulder pads that you spread them out over 10 marines and um, that way you get more bang for your buck that way. So as you can see they've all got the Tyrant of Vadab insignia which is the Lion Claw grabbing the star. It's the same for the Terminator Sprue if you've seen my review on the Forge World Terminator shoulder pads. But as you can see some of them have... have um, purity seals on them, some of them have skulls hanging from them, and just the story of the, the Astral Claws is just so tragic in how they were, you know, tasked with controlling the, the um, this area of, of space that they were just losing on all sides and um, the, the, they felt that the Imperium wasn't supporting them and so they, they just had to, according to Huron do what they had to do to survive. Now I do see that there's some miscast air bubbles like this one in here as well as this one here in the middle one. So a little bit of green stuff filling will will do for that I believe. But just the the way that the purity seals are sculpted, the detail and the and the shoulder pads themselves I think is really fantastic. And you can do some great insignia freehand drawing on this little piece of cloth there if you want. Okay, so let's take a look at the second little frame that we have. So we've got some of these what look like older marks of armor with the, the rivets bolting the, the frame of the shoulder pad into place. I think those are really nice. These look a little bit newer and more ornate. Really great stuff from Forge World. I love how they support their, um, you know, their product line. Just like the accessories that they give to to make, um, to give you the option to make your Space Marine chapter um, just really really pop on the battlefield. Like I'm still waiting for the transfer sheets that has the the chapter insignia of the Astro Claws, but. You know, if I'm building up Space Marines and I want to build up some more Astro Claws, these 10 shoulder pads I think are going to make a great way of doing that. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got a little bit of, of uh, knowledge of what you get when you order the Astro Claws Space Marine shoulder pads. And we will see you in the next video. Hopefully I'd like to do some more Astro Claws videos soon. Um, I, I, I did, I was lucky enough to get a Space Marine 
Super Ultra Mega Force for Christmas, and that's still sitting unopened, unboxed, in the corner of my room, crossing its arms, waiting for me to get done with all this vampire counts and ogre's foolishness. But um, one day maybe I'll go back to it, and I've got an I've got I've got an idea. I've also got this idea of a fun little project that we could do that has the Astro Claws and some of the other Badab focused chapters as a part of it. So stay tuned for more on that. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one.